climate change. The first decade of the 21st century had the highest average temperatures around the world ever, especially at the South and the North Poles. Global warming refers to continuing rise in the average temperature of the Earth's climate system. Since 1971, 90% of the warming has occurred in the oceans. Despite the ocean's dominant role in energy storage, the term global warming is also used to refer to the increase in average temperature of the air and sea at Earth's surface, especially in Antarctica and Arctic, which is causing climate around the world to change. What causes this climate change? Human activities are the main cause of global warming. One of the first things scientists learned is that there are several greenhouse gases responsible for warming, and humans emit them in a variety of ways. Most come from the combustion of fuel, in cars, factories, and electricity production. The gas responsible for the most warming is called carbon dioxide, which is also known as CO2. Other contributors include methane, released from landfills and agriculture. Especially from the digestive system of grazing animals, nitrous oxide from fertilizers, Gas is used for refrigeration and industrial processes, and the loss of forests that will otherwise store CO2 or carbon dioxide. The greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is a good thing when it happens naturally. However, human activities increase the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. These greenhouse gases increase the Earth's surface unnaturally fast. This leads to unnatural changes in the climate of the Earth. Impact on development The Millennium Development Goals Development in South Africa is guided by the Millennium Development Goals, which we often um, refer to as MDGS which is adopted by the leaders of the 192 member nations of the United Nations and the United Nations Millennium Summit in the year 2000. All nations aimed to achieve the Millennium Development Goals by the year 2015. These Millennium Goals included to eradicate extreme poverty and hunger, to achieve universal primary education, to promote gender equality and empower women, to reduce child mortality, to improve maternal health, to combat HIV and AIDS, malaria and other diseases, to ensure environmental sustainability and global partnership for development. But, unfortunately, climate change makes achieving the Millennium Development Goals more difficult in South Africa and the rest of the world. Here is how. For starters, water is becoming scarier in South Africa, especially in the dry western parts. Agriculture is more difficult, especially subsistence farming. Electricity Solar and wind energy must be developed to generate energy and to reduce greenhouse gas produced by coal-fired power stations. Health Diseases like malaria thrive in warmer climates. Warmer temperatures affect old people, babies, and others whose immune system are at risk because of HIV and AIDS. Weather Increased flooding and droughts, coastal cities, as the ice caps of Antarctica and Arctic melt, the sea level rise and threatens to flood densely populated low-lying areas. Mitigation and adaptation 
Now, what's the difference between mitigation and adaptation? Mitigation is what we can do to reduce the production of greenhouse gases. We know these gases cause global warming and they lead to rapid climate change. Now, what is it that we can do to make sure that we reduce the production of these greenhouse gases? Now, adaptation is what we have to do to help us cope with the climate change that is already happening. Mitigation. Everybody can do something. It's called reducing our footprints. We reduce our carbon footprint by using less things that produce carbon dioxide. We can also help nature to absorb carbon dioxide. Use it and store it where it can do harm in the atmosphere. When we talk about the carbon footprint, we talk about things like water, it's transport, things like waste, things like fuel, things like um, gas, electricity, recycling, and so forth. So, what can we do? We can help limit the greenhouse gases in three ways. We refer to this as the three R's by reducing, reusing, and recycling. Reducing use of electricity, switch off the lights and appliances when you are not using them, use of diesel, petrol and oil, share transport, use public transport, walk or cycle. Reuse, throwing useful things away and buying new things we don't really need is wasteful. Manufacturing and selling new things produces more greenhouse gases. Recycle. Paper, plastic, cardboard, aluminium, cans, metals, glass are all useful, even when we do not need it ourselves anymore. You can have a recycled bin next to your rubbish bin. Find a recycle depot near you. Every time you do that, you save the environment. Adaptation. We all have to adjust the way we live so that the impact of climate change doesn't cause more harm than it has already. Adaptation, though, is different for different parts of South Africa. In dry northwestern areas, grow crops and indigenous plants that survive best in dry or desert conditions and need less water. Reduce the number of small livestock like goats and sheep to a minimum. In low-lying, flood-prone areas, Build barriers and drainage system to cope with the heavy rain and prevent flooding. Build homes in places that will be flooded. Plant crops and indigenous plants that can to tolerate wetter conditions. In all areas, expect more environmental hazards such as floods, fires and drought. Be prepared and get to know about local relief services. Now, Please do activity one to four.